wote mm -hmm. waliompokea aliwapa uwezo wa mm -hmm. kufanyika watoto wa Mungu. Wote waliompokea mm -hmm. aliwapa uwezo wa kufanyika watoto wa Mungu. Angalia waliompokea. Kaelezea pale kupokea ni nini? Mm -hmm. Ndiyo wale mm -hmm. waliaminio jina lake. Ni imani eh? Ndiyo yeah, wale waliaminio in his name. Mm -hmm. Na naye name eh? onoma yeah. maana nini? Authority, authority activity or work yeah. alichokufanya jina ehe uh -huh. asemaje um, 12 anasema uh -huh. uh -huh. waliozaliwa uh -huh. si kwa damu si kwa damu maana yake sio natural birth uh -huh. sio watu wajua kuna watu wengine wakifikiri tukizaa watoto wanakuwa wakristo immediately <laughs> <laughs> na 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 there is there is a strong discussion sasa hivi kwa maskofu wanata wa kristo waongeze idadi ya watoto kwa sababu waislamu wanazaa sana ukristo utaisha that's what is this <laughs> Mtoto wangu David na Deborah they are not going to be Christian because nimewazaa mimi Kristo. Au kwa sababu muamini muamini wakizaa watoto wanakuwa waamini. Faith is God persuading people to receive his everlasting life. Persuasion. Ndio maana watoto wako lazima uhubirie injili ili wa Kristo. Automatically hawawi wa Kristo kwa sababu wamezaliwa na wa Kristo. Mm -mm. Na practically Gen Z wengi sasa hivi wanatafuta njia zao. They are trying a lot of things. Like what is faith by the way? Na mitandao ina provide. Na wana wako na simu siku hizi. Kwa ana said, let me try maybe Islam is good. Maybe Mormonism is good because we are not teaching them. Tuna hapa dunia iwaonyeshe. Lakini the teaching of the Bible is by faith. Sio wanaozaliwa kwa mwili. Kwa mtu mmoja kandu sasa inakuwaje waislamu wanazaliana sana. Tuzaliane hapa 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 hapa. Hatuwazai watenda kazi kwenye huduma. Lakini the way to create God's children is preaching the gospel kwa ima. when they believe they become god children namba 2 tunawa train watu wao watenda kazi wapokee ujasiri wa kuhubiri injili kwa hiyo waislamu wakizaliana sana wana become god our field for mission kwa hiyo strategy ni ile ile and then ulimwangu ni kote mkawafanye mataifa yote kwa wanafunzi and then mkahubiri injili kwa kila kiumbe so whether they become 10 time christian we got we got more places to preach the gospel Simply. Badala ya kujiombea ujasiri to face waislamu waamini injili, tunafanya nini? Tunaenda kufanya mambo ambayo tutahitaji ujasiri. Tunafungiana chumbani, tuna manufacture. Watoto. Bwana bwana. Hiyo inahitaji ujasiri hapana, unahitaji tu naomba niache kwa leo. Kwa hiyo vichekesho sana. That's not the Bible teaches. Na ndio maana kuna makanisa kwa sababu wana wakristo wengi ambao wanaweza kuzaliana. Hao ndio injilisti tena. Wakileta tu tunawafundisha jamani sisi imani yetu ni hii, msi tunawapiga wasiamini kitu kingine, tunawakikataa tunawakataa wasio watoto wetu. No, preach the gospel. Imani ya baba yako uishike, umekataa imani ya mama yako, unawalaani. Sababu hujawashawishi kama imani ya imani yako ni ni kweli. Ni kweli ufundishe na waona majibu mimi kuna watoto wanauliza maswali hapa na kwa nasema siku zote watoto mtoto mmoja aliuliza swali swali la msingi kabisa akasema kama Mungu anatupenda namna hiyo kwa nini ameka mti ameka mti kwenye bustani ya Eden si angeuta watu wa mti wa Kristo hoi hoi hawezi kujibu mtoto anasema basi let me try try another religion because my father cannot answer na pastors wakiuliza pia hawezi kujibu acha mafunzo potofu a jibu kama Mungu anatupenda anatupenda kwa nini kwa nini atupe shetani atujaribu tuamke kwenye dhambi ndio watu si angemua shetani uweze kujibu shetani nani na yuko wapi unabaki tu pale nyamaza wewe nyamaza <laughs> sio nyamaza sio shindwa toa jibu toa jibu Mungu akauliza alisoma kitabu cha Ayubu akauliza Mungu anatupenda sana kwa sababu tunamwambia watoto God is love And that's the easy way to preach to kids. God is love. God is love. Okay, God is love. Thank you so much. Sit down. Now, question. Kwa nini Mungu aliongea? Kwa nini shetani alipoenda kwa Mungu? Wakaongea na Mungu juu akamjaribu aibu. Mungu akamruhusu. Sasa unajua mtoto amesoma yale majipu na nini na umefundisha. Unajua akili zao hazipendi mambo mazito mazito. Wanasoma majipu pale ni na nini? Wanaumia wanaposoma. Anauliza God is love. Hayo majipu kwa nini amemwambia shetani akafanyia madufu? Kwa Mungu anaweza kwa shetani alipiga sema God is not love. Wasema nyamaza wewe. Mhm. Mm Sio nyamaza wewe. Tuliza. Wajua usipokuwa na majibu unaongeza volume. <laughs> <laughs> yani either utoe majibu au upandishe sauti. <laughs> kwa sababu kwenye kupandisha sauti unafanya nini? Unatuliza. Kwa sababu hauna majibu. 
it is it was it's not supposed to be so nikiwa dodoma ni mmoja alifanya unjilisi mmoja akauliza swali akauliza akauliza mm, 